Smart Ride 19 check presentation for $1 million. Cha ching! <laughs> and SR20 launches. The Smart Ride is a two day, 165 mile bicycle ride from Miami to Key West every November. Smart Ride is the second largest AIDS bicycle ride in the country and the only one of its size to give back 100%. The event guarantees that every penny that is raised will be given to AIDS service organizations and directed to prevention, education, and direct services. The organization believes in making a real difference. We can change the world and help free future generations living with HIV while helping those already affected, infected, or at risk today stay healthy. This event is unlike at similar types of events. On January 15th, Sunday at 2 p.m. at Hunter's Nightclub, Wilton Manors, Smart Ride 19 will be holding a check presentation ceremony for a $1 million check, and the launch of Smart Ride 20 will be announced too. Participants can go to thesmartride.org to enroll for the Smart Ride 20 event. I wonder who designed that site. I don't know. <laughs> Somebody had, any, had a little influence, <laughs> and I have a little knowledge of, of this story. Um, first off, we're actually going to be giving away over $1 million. Um, going into the event, it didn't look like we were going to hit a million this year. Um, and I was, I'm was i usually pretty optimistic, and I was pretty sure we weren't going to do it. And the riders and crew surprised the living crap out of me on Saturday morning. I told them we were still... I rarely let them know where we're at as we get close to the million, but I knew we weren't going to we be... were about 40,000 short. We were 40,000 in the morning, and um, about an hour and a half before we actually announced the total, we were 12,000 off. We were announcing 988. And um, I felt comfortable enough to tell uh, the ceremonies team, do the 988 on one side and do a million on the back side of those cards that you're going to flip. And we just challenged the audience and said, or challenged the participants and said, we're $12,000 away. If you promise me that in the next couple of weeks, by the end of, of end of November or the end of December, you know, you can raise 12 grand, we'll announce a million now and the crowd, um, you were there, Al, the crowd was just like exuberant about, we can do this. And they not only reached that, that 12,000 within a week, but they far exceeded it. And so I'm looking forward to Sunday, um, January 15th at 2 p.m. at Hunter's um, to be able to let everyone know how much they actually raised, um, which is good. You know, it's interesting to me. To me. Uh, I've been familiar with the Smart Ride for, for a long, long time and for various But you've not written in it. I have not written You did make it. me that promise. Yes, I did make <laughs> you that promise. Um, I participated this year and, and I reported, did lots of video, uh, did lots of uh, social media sharing on it. It was really, and you know, I've heard Glenn say this over and over again. And I would just say to those that are listening, you should come to the check writing, uh, check presentation. Uh, ceremony, meet many of the people that are involved in this, especially um, the agencies that benefit. There's six agencies okay. around Florida that benefit from this. Uh, one of the misnomers is it's all toward HIV services. It isn't. Uh, lots of services that HIV providers or regular health care providers, they do all kinds of things and the stories are very inspirational. But for me personally, I did, I did both days. I ended up staying um, uh, the night. I had Hawks Key, where's the middle keys overnight, then I stayed in Key West another night. And it was so shocking to me because my favorite parts of the ride were the stops. I would stop at a water stop and I would be there for 15 or 20 minutes and I would talk to people and I would I would interview them, why are you doing this, What what is it? It, what's this all really about? And it was um, it was very motivational. I came away from the two days going, wow, this was really good for me. And that was completely unexpected because I know the value of Smart Ride and Smart Ride 19 and this this moment of of uh, Glenn and, and Smart Ride being uh, short of the million dollars and having the plea on the stage of saying, you know, we could say we get to a million dollars if you'll make a commitment uh, at the end of November, by the end of the year, that we can do that. And, and Glenn's getting ready to announce that. That's really, really motivational. Mm -hmm. And for me, an absolute highlight was, what, what's the bakery place uh, in the Keys? Baby's Coffee. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, Baby's <laughs> Coffee. And uh, they they turn the entire place over to the Smart Ride, and all of their employees are there, and they're making pastries and donuts and danishes and coffees, and they're giving it away to every single person. And I sat down at a table with six people that live uh, in the island that Baby's Coffee is at, and I asked them, I said, well, do you know what's going on here? And they knew every detail. They live there, and they had come specifically because Baby's Coffee was doing the smart ride there. And I interviewed in the kitchen 
uh, the two Harry. owners, yes, yeah. and he had done it for a long time. And they both said, this is the single best day of our entire year in our business. Mm -hmm. And it's like, wow. And uh, not for money. And it's not for money. single best day because of the event. They don't make a lot of money that day. What they gave out in free ba pizza bagels, <laughs> there's no way they brought any income to cover <laughs> it's that. A, it right. About it's, that. It's, bagel. it's impossible. Really good pizza and, bagel. And it was, it was just really interesting because, wait, y'all are clearly not gay. And no, 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 no. But this is a great cause. And more importantly, we love the people that come through on this. And so therefore, we're supportive I of it. I love that. It, I love it that. was just That's so, so beautiful. Yeah. beautiful. And, it's not, the, and it's not just gay people who ride and no, smart, right? No. You, have, you have a ton of allies. You have a bunch yes. of people that have been doing it for 10 years plus, yeah. right? We have several <gasps> that are, or participants have been, this will be their 20th year coming up. Yeah that have been on every single event. And, Beautiful. Yeah. And you've already got your dates for next year. I'm we so have, freaking proud so, of you, Glenn. You know, so not only do we have our dates for next year, we, we have our dates picked up for the next couple of years. So, so it'll be November 17th and 18th this coming year. It'll be our 20th anniversary. And last year in May, we had around 360 people registered. Right now, we have more people registered than we did in May of 2021 for that ride. Wow. So we are so far ahead that this is the that first is week of be, January. It's the first week yeah. of January. And the, and and that's a uh, that's a really optimistic sign because uh, Glenn's uh, challenge for Smart Ride 20 uh, is, is two million dollars. Two million. And are you serious, Glenn? Serious. And is, I know we're going to do yeah, it. And you're going to do it. There's no question in my mind that we're going to do it. Yeah. The, the enthusiasm of people returning for the 20th anniversary. There's just so much out there and the amount of money that they raise with 80 less riders this year. I mean, we're down from three years ago in, in our numbers um, consistently. And I know this year, everything with everyone raising the kind of money they're raising, that they will blow it out of the water. You know, when, no question. when you said that you challenged them to, to raise uh, $12,000 uh, over the last month of the year and you made it, that surprises me not one bit. Because yeah. every year I get to, when I write for SFGN or I write for other outlets down here, I get to, you always introduce me to, to some of your longtime writers. Right. And the passion that they have is not something that they're just doing for, you know, reporter boy over here. They truly, truly believe that. So when you say the goal is $2 million this year, I have zero doubts that a year from now we'll all be at this table yep. and saying congratulations on. Yeah. And I'm going to be your emotional support lesbian. Oh, wait, oh, no way. <laughs> that. Wait, I am not right. writing. Hey, I will not be your emotional beat me. support lesbian. Uh, she's trying to. Well, hold on, Glenn. She's trying to beat me to it. I know. You want to be emotional that support Glenn, lesbian? I know Glenn's <laughs> and Smart Ride 20 uh, is going to make the $2 million goal because while I was in Key West on, on the Saturday night after everything is, oh, is no. said and done, I, say uh, I hung out with some people and I drank far too much and I had a fabulous, fabulous time. And then I started to hear from my uh, Cuban it. friend oh. uh, who <laughs> runs SunServe oh. say, oh yeah, we're going to have a team next year. Uh -huh. We're going to be involved. And you know who's going to be riding with us? <laughs> They what? Tony, right. Tony needs to stop drinking. So, that needs so, to happen so, in Lima. I know the two million is going to be had because they're going to have this. Uh, I'm going to be in the basket so, of Tony. One of, <laughs> right. one of the things that, that surprised me on year one and year two, you know, yes, we raise a lot of money. Yes, it goes to great services and stuff like that. But it's the people leaving that event like you did, Al. But it's also the people leaving the event that work for these agencies mm -hmm. that come back with a renewed vigor. Aww a new sense of determination because like all of us when we're focused on our job sometimes you don't look up from the screen long enough to appreciate everything that's going around you yeah. and when those agencies see the people that are out there supporting them when they see the people on the road when they see the sponsors like baby's coffee and you see you know all those people out there they come back and realize they're not alone either you know that there's this huge community that's supporting them and they come back and do their job better because they, they want to do more they've got right because they've got a greater yeah. passion for yeah. what they do yeah. and i think what's also important and it just quickly uh, at, at the check party on the 15th at hunters we're also going to be doing some ceremonial checks for some of our 10 percent lifeliners that have, have or will just be receiving additional funds so to show they're out the reach far and beyond just the six benefiting agencies, yeah. but there'll be some receiving money that day as well. Yeah, so, we we remind you, um, um, we're very happy to to be and Glenn's a, a, a such a, a good ally to uh, Queer News tonight and anchored at the show many many times. I do it much better than he does. But can, yeah. can but we just these, save that one besides. clip and take the second part out? <laughs> right. um, but uh, we we do so many tough stories. Uh, you know, in yeah. 2022, we did more than two thousand stories. Tomorrow will be 
our two-year anniversary of Queer News tonight, happy, tomorrow. Happy anniversary. And mm -hmm. uh, in 2022, 2000 stories, uh, we do so many stories that are really tough because we're reporting the news in the community. This is one that you can really get behind that is a really great story for our community. Thank you. It's not only a great story in terms of how it helps, but it is a great story in terms of how you participate. One of the greatest things that you could do when you see this story is share it. Mm -hmm. Share this story with people and say, you know, I think we should support Smart Ride 2020. And that's all you have to say. Share this story. Listen to Glenn. Listen to what happened mm -hmm. uh, at Smart Ride. Come to January 15th at Hunter's at 2 p.m. Uh, watch that check presentation and meet many of the people that are involved in this, including the beneficiaries and you'll feel better about the LGBTQ community. Congratulations, Smart Ride Thank 19. You. And we are launching Smart Ride 20. Wow. We're going to target $2 million uh, for Smart Ride. Make it rain, make it it's rain, great. Glenn, make it rain. All right, LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.